How to make red velvet cake. Bake a red velvet cake whenever you want to serve a dessert that's as beautiful as it is delicious. You will need two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, sifted, one teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, two one-ounce bottles of red food coloring, two sticks of softened unsalted butter, divided, one and a half cups sugar, two large eggs, one cup of buttermilk, three teaspoons of vanilla extract, divided, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of white vinegar, two eight-ounce packages of cream cheese, softened, and two cups of powdered sugar. Equipment, three nine-inch round cake pans, bowls, a whisk, a wooden spoon, a cooling rack, a cake plate, and a spatula. Optional, a 15-ounce can of beets, an electric mixer, and pecan halves. Step one, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Grease and flour the cake pans. Step two, combine the sifted flour and salt in a bowl. Step three, pour the cocoa powder into a small bowl, add the red food coloring, and whisk until smooth. You can use the juice from one 15-ounce can of beets in place of the food coloring. Step four, in a large bowl, Beat one stick of butter and sugar by hand or with a mixer at medium speed until fluffy. Then beat in the eggs one at a time. Step five, switch your mixer speed to low and add the flour a few tablespoons at a time. Alternate mixing flour with adding the buttermilk, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and dyed cocoa paste. Mix the ingredients until all the batter is the same red color, but do not overbeat. Step six, in a small bowl, stir the baking soda into the vinegar and then fold it into the batter with a wooden spoon. Step seven, divide the batter evenly between the cake pans and bake until a toothpick comes out clean, about 30 minutes. Let the cake cool for 10 minutes. Then, invert the layers onto a rack to cool completely. Step eight, make the frosting by beating the cream cheese with one stick of butter until creamy. Beat in two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Gradually beat in the powdered sugar until the mixture is light and fluffy. Step nine, when the cake is cooled, place the first layer on your cake plate or stand Spread frosting on top with a spatula, add the next layer, frost the top of that, and so on. Once you've added the final cake layer, spread a thin coating of frosting over the entire cake to contain crumbs, and then refrigerate for 15 minutes. Step 10. Finish frosting the cake by spreading the frosting on top and on the sides. Decorate the top with pecan halves if you like. Did you know? Tradition has it that a chef at New York City's Waldorf Astoria Hotel invented red velvet cake in the 1950s. But it is also rumored to be a Southern Civil War era invention.